Okay, guys, we, I mean, look at this place. It goes way down there, all the way down there, and the aisles are that long. Okay, I have a low battery, and I really wanted to show you, I'm, all right, I'm going to show you as much as I can before this battery dies, okay? But here's a little area that I picked out here that I wanted to look at. It's got CRTs. These are industrial-grade CRTs. I have some burn. Um... <clears throat> There's, there's all kinds of different types of computers and terminals here. Um, by the way, I'm getting this. It's a little tiny color TV. Uh, damn, I didn't realize the battery was so low. This place is so awesome, actually. <laughs> Passing by aisles. Okay, uh, you see these right here? These are programmable. Uh, I, I recognize these because when I used to work at GM, these would uh, control the tension, the, the foot pounds or, or pound inches or whatever on your uh, bolts. You use a special gun that would monitor. There's all kinds of little CRTs here. Um, this is the kind of area that I wanted to check out myself. This is where I'm more, I'd be most likely to buy something. Oh, there's another thing I, um, that I'm buying. Where is it? I'll come to it. I'll come to it. But, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. Some sort of oscilloscope there. More terminals. Test equipment galore. More CRTs. Oh, by the way, I, I, back there I seen some, uh, there are terminals that come with Wells Gardner 4900s inside. Damn it, I'm getting a battery flash inside. Uh, okay, right here is a prom programmer. I'm buying that sucker. Beautiful. Let me shut the battery off. Let me try to find a place to charge this camera. And everywhere I go, I keep finding these things. Check this out. This is a BGA rework station. You know the uh, chips that have all the contacts on the bottom of the chip? Um, they have like little solder balls and you, 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 you shake them around in a stencil and then you heat it up. But anyways, this is the professional way to do that. Uh, now, I used to have one and I believe, I believe it works with the same principle, but this has like a vacuum and uh, it heats, uh, it will, it, it'll, it, it'll heat it up and then pick the chip up off the board with a vacuum. And, as, and it, as, after it preheats the board and all that, I don't know, interesting very cool and it has a light and the light the heat from the light will desolder the chip anyways very cool and even i can even see the software disc laying over here 
1700 bucks. That's way, way cheaper than, <laughs> than buying a new one, I guarantee. Okay, check this out. New old stock tube. That's a Vectrex tube, guys. In the box. That is uh, $20. Uh, this is a tube that would be Vectrex, that is Vectrex compatible, but it has the additional implosion protection screen on top. New old stock. Another new old stock tube. How cool is that? Uh, there's another new old stock tube. New old stock tubes. New old stock tubes everywhere. This place is littered with new old stock tubes all over the place. Well, a nice guy was nice enough to uh, charge my camera for me. So, uh, I'm using the cell phone right now. So, in editing, I'll probably throw in a few cell phone clips and so on of whatever's going on, you know. But uh, a lot of interesting stuff. A million things in, the, in this place. There's a printer, if you want to print some side art. Uh, there's more printers over here. Look at that, man. This place is crazy. It's an old printer, plotter, I don't know what it is. Some sort of mixing thing. Almost looks like a cement mixer, but it looks cleaner than that, doesn't it? Pill coater. Well, if you guys want your pills coated. <laughs> Interesting. I'll never, I'm, my back is killing me. I don't know if we'll be able to show everything. My mistake was, my mistake was walking around first. I walked around before I turned the camera on. And, and part of the reason of, for that is uh, my uh, camera was dead. So I, the guy said he would uh, soul jet. The guy said he would um, <clears throat> charge my camera for me. So I was waiting around. <coughs> Crazy place. All industrial surplus. Supposed to be the world's largest industrial surplus. Like, I don't even know what that is. Oh, I gotta show you. I have to show you the aisle with all the robots. At least. That's, and that's a huge priority. I have to show you. <laughs> But all kinds of, this is all for sale. This isn't just, you know, set up here. This stuff's all for sale. Uh, it look, looks like forklift battery chargers. By the way, there's like, I don't know, down this aisle right here, I'm gonna skip over it. But there's like, I don't know, 60, 70 forklift, forklifts for sale. And like some of them are like 500 bucks. Some, and some of them are like eight grand. So even a poor man like me could get a forklift if I wanted. Probably not working. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I hope the, the quality of this camera will do justice. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, and there's, you know, that one aisle I may or may not have shown you yet of computers, because I'm going to edit. We're going to mix all this crap around. You don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> but uh, there's a whole nother area. It's like 10 times larger with more computers in it. And a lot of them are like 386 era and like 8086 era and things like that. Look at that. It's a spitty pizza dough thing. How about that? You could make a nice pizza cooker out of that of some sort. I have no idea. Lots and lots of lathes, although that's not a lathe. <clears throat> Some sort of hopper for something, I don't know. You know, they had something similar to this at GM, and it was for the powder coat. Hmm, let's see here. Gonna keep on walking. 
We'll see. You see, we have a new, we have a new, a new issue. See, we, we fixed the one problem with a dead battery on the camera, right? Well, now we have a whole nother issue because this can't, this phone has limited disk space. It's always telling me it's out of space and I already, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what that is. Let's skip over this aisle. There's some sewing machines. Crazy. I'll never be able to show you all this stuff. I've been walking for, I don't know, a couple hours now and I still haven't seen it all. Oh look, there's some lathe stuff. There's lathes everywhere in this place. Let's let's look at some prices just for shits. It's a thousand nine hundred bucks for this giant lathe. Here's another lathe. That looks that looks nice. I, I like the way this looks. Up oh, somebody somebody already bought it, and its price was holy crap. That's high. Three grand. Well, I mean, it's still a deal if you want to lathe. Three grand is just a lot of money to me. Two thousand bucks. Thousand five hundred. What's that one? Three thousand something. Thousand one hundred ninety nine. Pretty cool. I've seen some that were in the two hundred dollar range, but this place is so big, I don't even know where the hell they were. And they were like complete, they were just, you know, smaller. Alright, I'm gonna shut the camera off for a little bit and let's find another aisle because we're we're just like in Lathe City here. Am I pronouncing it right? I know it's, it's kind of spelled laugh, but it's pronounced lathe, right? <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna shut the camera off. A thousand for that one. And, uh, let me, I'll probably turn it back on around the robot area. You won't believe what I just found. An original Polybius board. It does exist. It's right here. Check this out. I'm pretty sure this is a giant Peltier. See what a Peltier is, is uh, there's a plate inside here and you put electricity to this plate and one side gets smoking hot and the other side gets freezing cold. And you can use it to heat things, or which is very inefficient, or you can use it to cool things, which is also semi very inefficient. But it's completely solid state instead of, you know, refrigerant and so on. Pretty cool, man. Price is 13 bucks. Here's a power supply. These are really great for use as a, with a uh, pole position. See, that delivers the 1,000 amps you need for pole position boards. There's an excellent noodle maker. Pasta, rigatoni, fettuccine, you name it. Go with Abdick. Here we have a multifaceted dildo tester. Okay, we're getting close to the robots. I remember the last time I was here, which was, you know, a long time ago now, but there was like a 10 foot tall robot. That was, oh, here's one. That was 500 bucks. And it was like this kind of thing, you know? And I really, really struggled, forced myself not to get it. Hmm, I'll see a price on that one. Sometimes this stuff is so big you can't even find the price tag. <clears throat> Sandblasting cabinet. This is cool. We had something similar to this at uh, GM. It would draw a vacuum like this and pick up sheets. It, or for example, uh, windshields and drop them on the cars. Pretty cool. I don't even know what that is. I don't know, to me it's just cool that like this stuff's actually for sale. Four grand for that. It's a behemoth though. What's this little guy? A thousand bucks for that one. A thousand bucks for that, that's cool.
I'm missing all this stuff over here. I mean, I know this shit costs a lot more than like a couple grand a piece, I'm telling you. <laughs> Three grand for this guy. <clears throat> Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. If it wasn't for like the city, I would have the biggest white trash yard ever. I'd have a robot in the middle of the yard just doing stupid stuff. You know, I used to have a 10 foot tall Tesla coil in my backyard. And I lived in a trailer park at the time. And uh, uh, people complained and I had to take down my Tesla coil. It was pretty cool. I was throwing plasma about, I don't know, 10 feet long. Wow. I mean, it doesn't make much sense to get this kind of stuff, but it would be really cool. I would enjoy it. Okay, so I'm back with, I'm back in the area where my camera died. And so I'm gonna try to show a little bit of this area with my cell phone. Look at that, it's a giant breaker or something. Anyways, there are all these tubes. And yes, these tubes can be found. Uh, you know, this, this kind of stuff can be found uh, at Goodwill and whatever, but these are all black and white tubes. And they're kind of cool with black and white vectors, but they're, hey, they're, $9.99 a piece. And as a matter of fact, look at that, that's kind of interesting. Look at that little tiny tube in there. As a matter of fact, some of these are actually new old stock. New old stock tubes and everything for $9.99. I think it was over here somewhere. Yeah, $9.99 for that. Still has the uh, paper plastic on the front. You, you see this right here? This plug right here. This is the exact same plug that um, Space Sap cocktails used. And here's something interesting. This little guy right here, that's a nine inch screen. This also has the same plug on the back that uh, Space Zap cocktail used. So interesting. Kind of cool. But yeah, it's. Some of these are color, like that's a color, that's a color. Some of these are black and white, of course. But like I said, you know, part of the reason I'm here is to get black and white tubes to make a vector with. I love old electronics, man, I really do. I don't even know what half this stuff is. Look at this guy. Oh, is that a modem? Yeah, a modem. Oh, these are kind of cool. Are they? Yeah, those are black and white, though. I wouldn't mind walking away with more than just one color. What is this? Oh, it's just a power supply. Tektronics. Oh, come on now. Come on. See, some of these prices are retarded. And then some of these prices are like, yeah, okay. I don't know. <clears throat> I just don't know what that is at all. I was debating on uh, getting here. Let me go down here. I'll show you. I was debating on getting this weird thing just because of the weird tube. Like I could make some kind of weird ultra widescreen vector setup with that or something. And, and I was thinking, well. <laughs> It had some screen burn, although it doesn't look so bad in the camera, and the price was outrageous on this one. 
That was, okay, it's $47. I don't know, 47 bucks, just so I could get that weird tube. It went with burn. I don't know. I'm still, it's a little high for me. If they take, if they take 20, I'd do it. I always kind of wanted one of those wide, ultra wide tubes. I might try to barter with them. We'll see if they take 20. And if so, maybe I can make a video tearing, tearing this kind of stuff apart. What is this? Is this a, some kind of phone system thing going on here? It weighs a ton. I don't know. It has that old electronic smell for sure. Ah. Hmm. Hmm, I kind of want this. We'll see. I might actually grab this. I'll put it in the buggy so I can think about it. Alright, yeah, so far in the buggy we got a, a prom programmer and two CRTs, black and white, and one, one mini color TV so I was thinking about using oh are you serious Kelly just found a roundy oh wow how much what's the price I don't know I gotta go look at the box I just grabbed it out of the oh box. yeah ah oh, man I've been wanting one of these I was thinking of making a clock out of it or something like that 13 bucks yeah. sold Put it in there, we're getting it. We're getting it. Awesome. Yeah. I've been wanting a roundy for a long time. 13 bucks sold. <laughs> Dude, I don't mean I don't know now. And this is this is electrostatic deflection. So it'd be kind of interesting to play with. Um I was thinking I could design a whole circuit to make this vector, or I could buy one of those oscilloscope clock circuits and, and then just hack into the amplifier. You know what I mean? That, oh, that's oh. Music that is, there. that's totally new old stock right there too. Yeah. Still in the original it's, box. No scratches on the tube. Oh my yeah. God. That's a find. I've wanted one of those for a long just, time. Like, oh, hey, down. hey. All right, all right. We did good. We did good today. We did good. It was, good. Right here. <laughs> it was like right here. Awesome. Apparently, this building used to be a nickel plating facility. Interesting, huh? Okay, here's like a section of uh, electronics. Or maybe it's not. I think I got my, my areas mixed up. There's a bunch of little islands like this with... Uh, <clears throat> with like little little stuff. Well, that's kind of interesting. Some sort of terminal, probably a PLC terminal of some sort. Hmm. There's still some electronics mixed around and everything. Some sort of backplane. ISA backplane. It's kind of cool. It's just, you know, you know, that would connect to a regular computer and extend the address lines so you can have more uh, cards.
I don't know if that's an RFI filter or what. RFI filter. <clears throat> Some sort of terminal here. A controller or who knows. I don't know what these are. Power supplies? Looks like power supplies. 400 and 500 volt input. Yeah, it's an output. And the output is 22 positive and negative 22 volts. Is that what that says? Or 24 and 30? Oh. Hey, yeah, whatever. Interesting. <clears throat> that said 30 amps, too. At 30 amps, you could easily drive a vector monitor out of that. Oh, this, I already looked at this a little bit ago. This is pretty interesting. If I had the money, I would so buy that. But this is where I, where I, where I talk about how some things are a little overpriced. I think that's a little overpriced. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't buy that kind of stuff every day, so. Wow, look at the size of that solder pot. It's a solder pot, right? Oh yeah, that's a solder pot. Wow. That's crazy. $100 for the whole box of giant capacitors. Same thing over here. 150 for this box of capacitors. Alan Bradley. You know, I used to be Alan Bradley certified. I can actually program Alan Bradley PLCs. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking if I could come across a cheap PLC, then I seen some and changed my mind. I don't, I don't know. You know, nowadays, if you're gonna do a small project like that, a nerd like me should learn Arduino. It kind of replaces PLCs. And it's cheaper, right? These are kind of cool cases for monitors. I wonder what these cost. $14, $15. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I might be back to get one of those. Just because it has a cool cool case, I could use it as a test rig and convert it to a vector or something. I don't know. Whatever I'm looking at, it's gonna, it's gonna be converted to vector. I don't know, I'm kind of vector nuts. I gotta remember that. I don't see any next to the giant 100 amp sign. Okay, here's my spoils. <clears throat> I got these uh, cases. I kind of like these cases because they kind of look industrial grade. And I might use one of these as my test monitor. And the other one I'm probably going to sell. Um, and of course I got this beautiful roundy tube. Right here is the model number, the type number. And hold that, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Kelly has that. And interesting. Oh, I also got my programmer, my prom programmer. And this package of the tube came in. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says Chevy Motor Division. Hope I'm cleaning up a little bit. Chevy Motor Division. 
pretty interesting. Yep, so I'm definitely going to find a use for that. Well, all right, guys. Oh, and don't forget, I got my little mini color TV set that I'm probably going to hack into a mini vector monitor. But, all right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.